Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Today, our Purkama party has come to a very special part um, of Vrindavan. We've come to Varshana. Actually, before we walk up the sacred hill of Varshana, we're visiting the village of Chittadevi called Chik Soli. Uh, many devotees know that Srimati Radharani, the Lord's eternal consort, she has uh, a group of girlfriends who assist her in many ways. Uh, they're called Sakis. If you go to Mayapur, our big Mayapur temple, uh, you'll see beautiful Radha Madhava on the altar and on either side are four assistants of Srimati Radharani, the Sakis. And one of those Sakis is Chitra Devi. The Sakis are around the age of Srimati Radharani. They're, you could say, nine, ten years of age. And each of those Sakis has a group of help helpers called Manjaris. They're much younger, six or seven, or maybe even younger than that. But um, these are Krishna's girlfriends. And um, each of these eight Sakis, they have their villages surrounding Varshana. Varshana is, the history of Varshana is very interesting. Actually, it goes way, way back. Actually, it's eternal, but the pastime is such that um, towards the end of Satya Yuga, Lord Brahma was thinking that he'd like to be part of the pastimes of Lord Krishna when he came in his Shwayam Bhagavan, when it, it came in his original form at the end of Dipura Yuga. So he was thinking what type of service he could do. He was thinking how he could get mercy from the Lord, from Krishna. So he performed great penances and great austerities to get the boon that um, at the end of the poor Yuga when Krishna came, he could be a hill in Vrindavan. Why would someone want to become a hill? We have many spiritual desires. We think, I'd like to be a Pujari, I'd like to be a Sankatan devotee, I'd like to be a cook and cook for the Lord and for the devotees. Brahma wanted to be a hill. The reason he wanted to be a hill is because he was thinking, if I'm a hill, then I'll get the mercy of Krishna and Srimati Radharani, the gopis and the cowherd boys. Their soft pink lotus feet will traverse on my head. <laughs> what greater benediction could you want than to have the dust of the feet of devotees or the Lord himself on your head. So he prayed like that and that that desire was fulfilled. This is the beauty of Krishna consciousness. Our material desires may or may not be fulfilled, but our spiritual desires, if they're sincere, in due course of time the Lord will uh, fulfill them so that we can serve him to our heart's content. So in Dipura Yuga, at the end of Dipura Yuga when Krishna appeared, Brahma became a hill. Specifically, he became, uh, like you could say, there were four, there was the hill, but there were four parts of that hill, rises in those, those hills. And one of those rises is called Varshana. And that is the eternal home of King Vishabhanu and Kirtada Sundari, who are the illustrious parents of Vrindavaneshwari Srimati Radharani. They lived there in a palace, that family. We know that Radharani was born in Raval, but when Krishna moved from Gokul to Nandagram, when he was a little older boy, uh, Radharani's parents moved from Raval to Varshana. And the name or the word Varshana has a wonderful meaning. Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur describes it means a, a shower of bliss. Varshana is a constant shower of bliss because of the presence of Srimati Radharani's transcendental form, her attributes, her service, her mood of loving service to Krishna. That place is called Varshana because of that constant flow of bliss. And Radharani has that name as well. Uh, Varshana Rani, the queen of, of, of Varshana. So many of her childhood pastimes took place there. Um, she and her girlfriends would roam the wooded areas around there, um, like young girls do in a playful way. Uh, when they had service to do, to take the milk products from where they were being m made, the milking the cows, they'd take them to the market. Sometimes Krishna would come with his friends and he would stop them and he would tax them, the Dan Gati pastimes. 
We think of Dangati as a place at Govardhan, but there's many Dangati pastimes. It's one of the main pastimes at Vrindavan. That took place all over Varshana. And um, there's a beautiful temple on, on the top of the hill of Varshana. Um, perhaps part of the original palace, you could say, the palace of King Vrishabhano. There's a beautiful deity of Sriji, beautiful deity of Radharani that was found by Narayan Bhatta Goswami, one famous personality who discovered many holy places there. He found that deity is nicely established. So the, the, the majesty of the place and the beauty of the place and the, the mood, the predominating mood of Radharani's Mahabhav is present there. Her mercy is there. She's one of the three personalities who experiences that special Mahabhav. Radharani, Lord Chaitanya, and Madhavinda Puri. So devotees who want to serve Krishna, who want to serve Radha and Krishna, they go to Varshana and they pray to her because she has so much love and devotion for Krishna, the topmost love and devotion for Krishna. She's in charge of devotion. So if we want to serve Krishna, which means with devotion, we pray to her to please accept our devotion and you offer to Krishna or tell Krishna about us. One time Prabhupada said, Srimati Radharani is in charge of devotion, so even if she sees her on this earthly planet, one devotee is just joining the temple and wants to serve Krishna. She whispers to Krishna, my dear beloved, there's a devotee on the earth planet or somewhere in the creation who is aspiring for you. Please accept that service. That's how merciful Vrindavaneshwari is. She's so exalted, but she's so compassionate. So we, we're here today at, at Varshana, begging for her mercy to be proper devotees of the Lord, to be trained in devotional service. Actually, we pray like that every day. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. My dear Lord, my dear energy of the Lord, Prabhupada translates that. My dear Radharani, Ladini Shakti. Please engage me in your loving devotional service. So we're starting here today in the village of, of Chitradevi. She's uh, one of Radharani's favorite uh, gopi. She's very artistic. She's a good cook. She's a musician. So many ways she serves. So we're coming to take shelter of her. Servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna. This is the secret of devotional service. In the material world, you don't want to be any, anybody's servant, generally, because you get exploited. But in Krishna consciousness, we want to be the servant. It's our nature to be the servant. And if we're at the bottom of the pile, we get the most mercy because Vaishnavas are very compassionate. So we're starting here. We'll come back again and again throughout our lives visiting different villages. But you'll see in this video, this is a very, very beautiful village. And our group is full of very many beautiful devotees seeking the mercy of the Lord through the medium of Hare Kata, Krishna Kata, chanting Hare Krishna, taking prasadam, and walking up the mountain of Varshana to the top and then back down to the bottom where we'll take prasadam, which is the natural course of activities when you come to this abode of bliss. Vrindavan Ishwari Shimati Radharani Ki Shishi Radhasham Sundar Ki Shirapapad Ki Gokuldam Ki Glokadam Ki Back home, back to Godhead Ki Hare Krishna